Okay, so I've created this basic uh, composition in Mudbox, and I've done some sculpting, and I've also gone in and um, uh, done some painting to it, and also I use sort of my vil viewport filters to add some um, cavity occlusions to it. I want you to see what it looks like without it. And by adding that, it gives it much more um, sense of depth. And my composition is basically finished. And I look at my um, object list, and it's composed of like the basic head file, so it's taken from the basic head. And I added the two spheres for the eyes. I could go and detail those, but that's a discussion for a later operation. Now let's look at this, and we'll see now that the total uh, number of polygons in this is uh, about half a million polys, and that's the level that I took this up uh, for this design. Now what I'd like to do. Um, from this point, I'm going to output uh, this file uh, as an OBJ file so that I can bring it into Maya. One of the things that I want to do in Maya is that I want to cap off the bottom. Uh, there, I may be wrong, but I, there is no uh, convenient way to cap uh, shapes like these off uh, within Mudbox except for uh, to start off with the inherent solid. Like if you start, started off your design, instead of using the basic head file, if you use the box or the sphere and molded from a closed shape, you would have a closed design, but would limit some of the things that you'd able, be able to do on the um, back end. Uh, so what I want to do uh, at this point is that I just want to take this file and I want to export it as an OBJ file because what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring this into Maya and I'm going to show you some strategies, simple strategies for closing off your model. So we come over here to model um, export selection and uh, we could use FBX but I'm going to use um, OBJ as my file format and I'm going to put this in my um, bud folder and I'm going to call this head 04 okay and I'm going to save that there and that's going to save that OBJ file in that um, location um, and that's going to conclude our mud box workflow uh, for 3d printing but uh, our next step is going to be to go into um, Maya and begin to uh, I want to show you some different strategies for creating the base and closing that shape off using some simple uh, extrude commands. I'm also going to show you how to create the relief uh, using um, mesh booleans. So we're going to stop this here for right now. Okay, let's discuss the, uh, the simplest way uh, to fill a hole. And here we have our object, and it's open at the bottom. You know, it comes in mud box, and it's open at the bottom. And it's actually uh, just as simple as clicking on your object and show that it's selected, and going to Mesh menu, Fill Hole, and that will automatically fill the hole, just like that. It's that easy. Uh, the only problem with uh, using this approach is that um, you'll get a, as it relates to mold making and casting, is that you're going to get an uneven sort of um, uh, orifice at the bottom, which means you have to sort of slush cast it, and you have to figure out how you're going to mount it. You know, it's a, not a insurmountable uh, task, but it's something to uh, 